Hi everyone. In this episode, we'll go over editing your nutrition fact label. We'll start with an existing recipe, here the facts rest cookie, and jump right into the label details. For the most part, we won't have to change very much from the default label, but there is a lot of customization possible. There are currently two label styles available. The default is your vertical style you see, and there's also a linear style. We'll work on the vertical one for now. For each label, we split the options into three categories. First, we have our high-level label options. The information symbols provide a bit more detail on when to use each label option. We can optionally show the caloric information that shows up at the bottom of the label. If we don't have room vertically, we can move the footnote section to the side. We can also shorten the footnote section if our label doesn't have enough space for it. Lastly, there are a couple aesthetic uh, things like changing the width of the label and also changing the color. We can change this to light gray, and that'll update the label. Probably don't want to do something like changing it to red, because that makes it hard to read, and you want to make sure your nutrition fact label is clear and easy for your customer to follow. There are also a number of nutrients we can add to our label optionally. Most of these are optional, but some may be required if you make claims about your product elsewhere in the label. For example, if you claim your product is high in potassium, they're expected to include nutrition facts for potassium, like so. Lastly, there are optional vitamins we can show. These, again, are all optional unless they're added as a supplement or if a claim is made about them. So if we have uh, milk that claims to be fortified with vitamin D, we'd add that. Vitamin E, like so. We can also toggle all of them at once, and uh, they all get added at once. And that's pretty much it for editing a label. Currently, these label style options aren't saved, so if you go back to your recipe and view the label again, it'll be back to the default settings. If you think saving the style options would be a useful feature, let us know and we can incorporate it. Your feedback is always appreciated. If you're thirsting for more information, check out our frequently asked questions, watch the other videos, or email us at info at factsr.us. Thanks.